Okay, just wanted to take a look at another example here of a differential equation corresponding to a forced harmonic oscillator. Remember that by the extended linearity principle, our general solution will just be a sum of a solution to the associated homogeneous equation and a particular solution. So let's find the solutions to the associated homogeneous equation first. That would be y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals 0. So the characteristic equation for that is s squared plus 2s plus 1 equals 0. Notice that's just s plus 1 squared equals 0. So s would equal negative 1, and that's a repeated root. Remember, when we have a repeated root, our solutions are going to be some copies of e to the negative st plus some copies of t e to the negative st. Okay. Now, if I look at the corresponding system when we built this, we got this out of taking a sum of two solutions there. In the system, each term in that vector equation was not necessarily a solution by itself. So I don't want to assume that these guys are, but I can actually see by inspection that is a solution, because if that's a root of the characteristic equation, I know any multiple of e, I'm sorry, I should have plugged in what s was, so just negative t, because s was negative 1. Um, if that's a root of the characteristic equation, that's going to be a solution. But then if this whole thing is a solution, and that's a solution, by the linearity principle, if I subtract out this piece, that's going to be a solution too. So it is actually kind of neat. They are both solutions here, although in the system, the corresponding vector solution, vector that we get, which is a sum of two vectors, is not a sum of two vector solutions. Okay, so let's see. We've got this a e to the negative t plus b t e to the negative t. And now I want to guess a particular solution. And the rule is I generally guess the same sort of function that I have here. So you might think I'm just going to guess some t's, and I'm not. This is a first-degree polynomial. An arbitrary first-degree polynomial is some t's plus a constant. Okay, the t there. Okay, so here the constant happens to be zero, okay? But when I'm working with a polynomial, I'm not just going to guess the terms that happen to show up. I'm going to guess an arbitrary polynomial of the same degree. So if this had been 2t squared, I would have guessed some t squared plus some t's plus a constant. Okay. All right. Then yp prime would just be a, and yp double prime is just 0. So let's see if we can't solve for a and b. So if I plug in yp, I get yp double prime plus 2yp prime plus yp. I want that to equal 2t. The second derivative was just 0, plus two copies of the first derivative was just a, plus the original function was at plus b. And I need that to equal 2t. Okay. So if I take a look at this, I can just rearrange this. That's a copies of t plus 2a plus b is the constant term on the left. And I need that to equal 2t. Okay. So the number of t's has to be the same. So a, which is the number of t's I have here, had better be 2. I don't know why I wrote a equals 1. I meant to write a equals 2. The constant also has to be the same. So 2a plus b, which is the constant that I have on the left side, has to equal 0, because there's a 0 constant on this side. Now, I already know that a is 2, so now 4 plus b has to equal, sorry, 4 plus b has to equal 0. b is going to equal negative 4. So putting the pieces together, my particular solution is going to be 2t minus 4. Okay. Excellent. Put the pieces together. I've got my general solution to this differential equation.